guys, time is back. The wifey is here. And today we decided to do something a little different. Um, this is not a fragrance review. This is not a food review, coffee review, beverage review, snack review. Um, however, um, as like most people like to shop at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, Pretty much that is my favorite store is any one of those uh, like a being a kid in a candy store when it comes to either one of those stores um, and yesterday we decided to have a nice uh, pretty much discount store shopping day mm -hmm. where we salvaged through a few of them throughout the city and uh, we kind of came out ahead I think I got a few items and the wife you also got a few items and we're kind of gonna Discuss what we found, what we paid for them, and uh, maybe why we got them. Uh, so, with that being said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let us know down in the comments below. And give us a if you guys up. like to see what we buy, because we uh, are just, normal people. Yeah, you know. Me I mean, least. I don't just. I'm not just buying this stuff just so I got video content. Okay, I literally. Use uh, it and... I do use these things, okay? It's not just I'm using it and then trash it the next day or give it to someone else. We don't uh, waste I am money in this house. Using this stuff. So, this was my hard earned money. This wasn't YouTube's money going towards these things. It's my hard earned money. Um, I guess it'd be hard earned on YouTube too. You have to edit your own Eventually, when they, when they start paying me, then I can really go out there and splurge. But, um, with that being said, I think the wifey got most of her items from the TJ Maxx. Yeah. I got um, two kind of different things. I got two hats and then a fragrance. Uh, the hats came from Ross and then the fragrance came from TJ Maxx nonetheless. So mm -hmm. with that being said, I will let the wifey start off and show you what she got. Now, this is for the ladies, of course, because yeah. I don't think anything in here is... Uh, gonna be of any use to you fellas unless you guys like this stuff then Maybe. go right on ahead right and then another bag so we got two bags over here from the wifey this was two separate tj maxes yes so um, i got some new shorts so look at that ladies that'd be nice if you are you know planning a nice little summer vacation coming up yeah i thought these were really cute they almost look like a skirt they're kind of Cute. And she paid what fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Again, you guys, there. You know, if if you have like a hundred dollar budget uh, to shop a week at TJ Maxx, you can come out literally with probably five different outfits if you truly shopped the right way. If you didn't just go right on ahead and just buy the first thing you've seen. Yeah. Um, you literally can make out pretty well at TJ Maxx. Honestly, I don't even get how some stores like, I mean, Nordstrom. Macy's and stuff like that. I don't even know how they're open with stores like TJ Maxx. Now, I've heard some people say that TJ Maxx and Marshalls gets pretty much the Last previous season. year's yep. stuff. But I've never, unless you're wearing something that looks like it's from the 70s, I've never had someone come to me and say, you're wearing last year's clothing. Never. That's because we're not out here in Prada and blah, you know. So I've never had that happen to me, okay? Like, I I mean, that's the last thing I would think about when I'd see someone walking around the street is like, oh my God, look, he's wearing 2019's gear. I'm, it's not even crossing my mind, so. Unless they're wearing those Jabot jeans. Do you, do y'all remember those? <laughs> those Jabot jeans were, I don't think I ever had any of those jeans, I to be honest. I not but, either. I had some Paco and Jenko jeans, if you guys remember those. I had some Levi's. <laughs> But what else did you get? And my other bag, these to me were pretty good stills. I've already used this. I used this one today. But it's a foaming body wash by Shea Moisture. Um, and this one was also, this was on clearance if you can see it, like the rest of that little red sticker. And it was $4.50. Man, again, you guys definitely walk through the clearance uh, aisles as well. They usually got some amazing deals. Now, honestly... When it yeah. comes to those stores, they don't give a damn about the men's section because the clearance stuff we get, they'll be like a, you'll see a nice fragrance and then it won't even have a damn top to it. So it's like, uh, I don't know what am I supposed to do, like break it open and then splash them on me or what? But yeah. they'll have stuff with like goo all over the outside. Like they'll have a nice body wash with the goo all over it. And 
They had to try it out first. <sighs> they don't even like men at them stores. You see our little men's section is like real small and then the women's section takes up like two thirds of the store while the men get like this little sliver well, of the store. We do most of the shopping anyways. But uh, secondly, I got another Shea Moisture uh, body wash and this also was on clearance for Four fifty. I don't know if y'all can, can see that. Four fifty. So I'm not sure what these go as far as retail price. They're I'm, usually about eight dollars at like Target or Walmart, between eight and like eleven dollars. So even before that uh, clearance sticker price went on there, it was still five ninety nine, yep. which is still about two to three dollars cheaper at TJ Maxx. So even if you didn't get that for the clearance price, you're still saving. A couple extra bucks so yep. definitely go there too especially for body washes and stuff like that deodorants, deodorants men get over there because man you'll be quite surprised at some of the soaps that you find the body mm -hmm. washes um some of the all natural bar soaps say, and stuff which you know i'm starting to get into they got the natural deodorants for the women natural and those deodorants. usually are expensive they do have those for men too cheap. i've actually found a couple of those for men as well so Definitely be on the lookout in that section, fellas and ladies. And, and last but not least. I got, this is my favorite. This is generally what I use. I usually use the Sensitive Skin Dove. But you can't go wrong with just and look Dove. look at the size of it. That thing's like huge. a. Uh, so, oh, I can't even hold it with one hand, really. Thank you. So you're looking at a one liter. Um, that is a, what the hell is one liter? Like a 32 ounce? Or this has got to be higher than that. Um, you look it's at the heavy. size of this thing. Um, so one liter of Dove, which you guys already know, if you go to Target and buy this, like you're looking at about bucks. 10 bucks, 12 bucks for this size and for $6.99, saving a good $5 on that. So ladies, fellas, again, if you guys are into moisturizing your skin, definitely check out those stores first. <laughs> TJ Mac, I mean, Target, those... I mean, sometimes we just go to Target just to walk around, but I love Target I'm Target. trying to pinpoint what I would even go to a Target for nowadays, too, now, like, because, I mean, pretty much anything you can find at a Target or a Walmart besides groceries, you can pretty much get at TJ Maxx, well, Marshalls, so you can't get, like, at, like a, mops and brooms a, and stuff like that, or detergent, like, clothing detergent, but... You can at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, you could um, actually. I forgot. They I got a, a really good detergent, and it's like a simple and it's uh, very concentrated. I got it for seven ninety nine, and I looked on Amazon, and it was a twenty dollar laundry detergent. And I got it for seven ninety nine at TJ Maxx. Um, so honestly, I. But when you go to Target, you, it's guaranteed to be there. You know what I mean? Like what you're looking for is going to be there. TJ True. Maxx is kind of a gamble, but it's a good gamble. <laughs> so it is almost. Um, the equivalent of if you guys seen our video on the Chick-fil-A and McDonald's thing it's almost like you know if you go to Chick-fil-A you're guaranteed great results right mm -hmm. whereas you go to McDonald's if you do get the best results that you can get from a McDonald's you are knocking it out of the ballpark however if the fries and burgers just ain't right you pretty much just wasted your day going there so and for target on. i guess there is that purpose of going there to make sure you're guaranteed to and, probably you get know, something but better packaging because sometimes the packaging is you know like, like this dented. one you can see the dents and it's a dent in that one but that's okay it's not opened well so ladies those are a few things that the wife you picked up again at tj maxx she, however, did not find anything at Ross. I did. And I usually find all sorts of stuff at Ross. Now, one of my favorite things to look for at Ross as far as men um, is once in a while, they'll have a nice pair of headphones that'll be like 10 bucks. And, you know, if you go to Target, they might be like 40 bucks. So look uh, for those the headphones. Um, just don't get any headphones. Look for like name brand headphones. Um, look up the reviews sometimes shoes can be a hit or miss like sometimes you'll be lucky and find a nice pair of nikes that'll be about 50 bucks compared to 100 bucks at the other stores mm -hmm. um another thing i like to get is underwear pretty much white tees those are usually pretty cheap there as well and house stuff like and house stuff like, like towels mats, and stuff like that yep. and sheets and stuff are usually Same gonna be cheaper stores, um but definitely those are the things i look for at ross and sometimes oh. one more thing i like to look for at ross is one of my favorites, the fragrances, and also sometimes they do have some nice men's jewelry once in a while. Like you find a nice, pretty classy watch or something like that. 
Uh, but what I went in there for yesterday was pretty much for fragrances. However, I did go to the hat section, which again is one of my favorite uh, sections at Ross. And um, now the one thing I like to do, especially if I'm traveling out of town, is you know, especially if you want like some um, some of the city's gear that you're going to. So if you're going to San Diego, you go to a San Diego TJ Maxx. You want a San Diego hat. Try those spots first. You probably save a lot more money than just by going to that San Diego uh, merchandise thing. shop. You might spend like thirty dollars on a shirt when you can get a San Diego Padres or for five dollars. for five ten bucks. See? Mm -hmm. And sometimes those stores won't even have the Padres stuff. Sometimes they'll have a team that you you know another team you don't have. So uh, with that being said, um, man, I thought this hat was pretty damn dope. This U.S. Army hat. Uh, no, I'm not in the army. I did not serve. However, I do have a few family members that have served or who are serving now. And, uh, man, I'm definitely grateful for their services. But, man, I thought this hat was pretty dope. And for $8.99, can't beat that. If that was, like, at a Target, that would have been, like, 17 bucks, guaranteed. Definitely. So, definitely nice-looking hat right here. This is going to look good on the next video the that quality. I do. The quantity, quality is nice. This is actually, uh, man officially licensed by the u.s army too so this is pretty much the look at the hat good looking hat right there this is pretty much the authentic of authentic there goes that u.s army tag right there again um doesn't say how much this is like retail but i'm pretty sure this would probably be about between anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks elsewhere okay so there's that and now also, again, we live in Wisconsin. You expect to see Brewers, Bucks, Packers hats. However, I've seen a nice New Era. If you guys know anything about New Era, those are expensive hats. You go to Lids, you're going to be spending about 35 40 bucks. Plus. This one is the Detroit Tigers. Now, when I first seen this, I was like, what the hell kind of cat is that? Because you can't really see the stripes really on this one. So you couldn't really tell if that was a tiger or, hell, I didn't know what the hell that was. And I was like, man, what? What baseball team has a cat? And then finally hit me the Detroit Tigers. So take a look at that. This is a fitted hat. So that's nice. Fitted, no, you know, straps in the back. So if you guys like those strapless hats, this is the way to go. And again, these would have been 30 bucks plus easily at lids or anything like that. $10.99. So definitely go check the hat section out, fellas. If you like hats like I do, check that out. Last but not least, I uh, won't do an actual review on this. Maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just open it up, spray it, and just kind of go over it real quick. But I um, found one fragrance. Honestly, our TJ Maxx has been kind of, pfft, as of late, especially for men fragrances. The women fragrances, there's actually a few that I've seen all the time that I would actually get. If I was a lady, I would pick those up. Did you However, think about getting them for me? I did, but I already had some fragrances for you in the mail, so I had to see what I can find, and again, they had their Tommy Bahamas, St. Kitts, the stuff I already had already, or their Burberry Touch, which I have already. This one was a shocker, this Eternity CK Summer for men, a 3.4 ounce, and honestly, I think I got a great deal on this one for $24.99. Again, if you were to buy this retail anywhere... Um, that's not a discounter store. You're looking at about 60 to 70 bucks. If you went into Ulta, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Um, discounters will still probably be around 25 to 35 bucks. So if you think about it, even if it was a little like $2 cheaper on fragrance net, I but saved I just shipping. because I didn't have to wait for that shipping, no shipping times or anything like that. So I was able to pick this one up right away, 25 bucks. So I'm just going to do a quick little spray real quick just to let you guys know what I think. But again, this is not a fragrance review video, okay, you guys? This is just a a day in the life of TJ Maxx shoppers. And Ross. Again, if you guys have never been into TJ Maxx, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Get there or ASAP. Ross. Or Ross. Or Burlington. Marshall. Burlington, fellas, especially for the fragrances. If you really like fragrances, Burlington is has been the place to go to as of late for me. It's a nice uh, bottle. So here's the bottle. As with most Eternity... Uh, bottles it does have that built-in atomizer as you can see right here now if this was a one ounce this would have a pull cap they don't have the built-in atomizer on the smaller bottles but this one 3.4 ounce is this a blue fragrance this is it is a blue fragrance i think there are some blue notes or some aquatic notes in here 
I've Honestly, watching. sometimes a lot of people, when they just think of a blue fragrance, they just think of anything that has a blue bottle. And this one is kind of blue. It's a light blue. Um, the crazy thing is, like, these Calvin Kleins have so many different summer variations. So they have the CK1 summer. They got this summer, other summers. Just make one good summer. How about that? But here we go. I'm going to spray this away. Never smelt it. But here we go. Make sure I got nothing on this hand. Beautiful atomizer, actually, you guys. Very nice. Ooh, and I'm definitely digging that one. Ooh. A little florally. A little florally. There's definitely some citruses going on here, some aquatic notes. I'm definitely kind of getting these watery vibes as well with this one. This one's definitely nice. It's it's kind of got a little bitterness, too, now, now that it's dried down a little bit. Not too much, but airy, aquatic, some green greeniness to it some citruses so are you gonna do a full review on this one i will do a full review on this one eventually uh, but off the first instinct i do like it it's definitely a people pleasing fragrance it's you know it's nothing to ooh and ah about it's nothing it's like easy. a wow but it's an easy wear fellas if you see that 25 dollars you're not out. hurting the bank on that one unless you are then don't get it just get the little ones that are 12 dollars in the corner they work too sometimes those do but there you guys go. That was uh, like eight things that we've purchased together from TJ Maxx and Ross. Now, again, if you guys like to see more of this type of content, let us know. Now, again, we are not just going to, if you guys say, yes, we want to see it. I'm not just going to go to TJ Maxx tomorrow and just yes, buy stuff that I don't need. Okay. He likes I actually, when I buy anything. stuff that I actually think I need, I'll get it and then we'll we could always go a haul guys. like once a month, like a, nice or every haul, few weeks. Nice, cause maybe once a week haul, maybe. Because honestly, I can go to TJ Maxx every day of the week. True, it's... but we don't always buy stuff every week, though. I say it maybe once or twice a month we usually mm -hmm. buy stuff. We but go. there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.